Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I hope you are having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Welcome to our Tuesday Truth for Kids. We have been looking at why we need Jesus. Today, we will see how we need Jesus to be safe. But before we get into it, can you think of a time that you have been on a boat trip? What was it like? Was the weather good? I get seasickness really easily. So I hope that one day if I'm on a cruise ship or something like that, the weather is perfect. I'm really scared of being caught on a boat in a storm. Today's story though that we're going to read together is about Jesus and his friends, the disciples, on a boat in a very big storm. But while we go through the story, I want you to bear in mind that this boat was not like the Titanic. It was a first century wooden fishing boat. So let's read from Matthew 8 verses 23 to 27. Then he, this is Jesus, got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the wave swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, you of little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. Then the men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. So this storm was really big and the boat was pretty small. How do you think the disciples were feeling? Yes, they were incredibly scared. And what was Jesus doing in all of this? He was having a nice nap and sleeping. Last week, we saw how big the faith of the centurion was. But this week, we see how small the faith of the disciples were. They went to Jesus panicking and asked Jesus to save them. They thought that they were going to drown. Jesus asked them why they have so little faith and why they were so scared. And then Jesus just spoke and told the storm to be still. And it was completely calm. Again, we see how Jesus just spoke and it happened. And the disciples saw that Jesus was no ordinary man. They saw that Jesus had the power to control the winds and the waves and that he is in charge of creation. So last week we saw that Jesus is in control of sickness and here he is in control of everything in the world. The disciples weren't safe because there was no storm. They were safe because they were with Jesus. They were with the one who is the king over creation and in control of everything. So for us today, life following Jesus can be a bit like a crazy storm. Life isn't always easy. Things do go wrong all the time. But just like the disciples, we can trust Jesus and know that we are safe with him. Jesus made the world and everything in it, and he is the king over it. He is in complete control over everything, and everything, even the winds and the waves, obey him. Jesus rules over creation, and he cares for us. Do you trust him? How can this true story help you when you are facing something big and scary? Let's close our eyes and pray. Jesus, thank you so much for everything that we can learn about you. Thank you that you are in control over everything. Thank you that you rule over it perfectly, that even the winds and the waves obey you. And thank you that you care for us and look after us. Help us to trust you and to know that when we are with you, when we trust in you, we are completely safe. Amen. Thank you all. Have a wonderful week further. I'll see you next Tuesday where we read another exciting true story about Jesus. Jesus.